In 1973, a group of talented musicians made their debut as the Marshall Tucker Band. With the release of their self-titled debut album, this group of ragtag guys from Spartanburg, South Carolina, embarked on a wild ride, something original band member and drummer Paul T. Riddle will never forget. We were on the road, and, and, and we had played, I don't know how many shows, and it's hard for people to grasp, but, you know, the first few years, we were playing close to 300 shows a year. That's a lot of dates. You know, for the first five years or so, I mean, we, was, we were working. Traveling from city to city, playing show after show, the band was known for their live shows, packed with high energy, elaborate jams, and a unique connection with the crowd. We love recording, but when I think of, about the band, I think about us playing live, because there was nothing like it. It was, the energy of it was amazing. It was incredible. I think we were known for that. It was real intense. I mean, like, can't you see, it was like the ballad. <laughs> I mean, it was like in your face for two and a half hours. It, it was real powerful. Through the 70s, the Southern Rock Band took a journey to success no Spartanburg band had ever seen. There wasn't a, an agenda to go, we're going to do this or that. Or, it just were these songs that we just loved. We loved the music. The songs just kind of took their own voice. Like Take the Highway, for instance, was a kind of a folk tune. It was kind of like a James Taylor finger-picking type song. And, and so we just really messed it all up, you know. <laughs> the band just would take these songs and turn them inside out. It's a legacy that's still influencing local musicians today, like original band member George McCorkle's son, Justin. When I started playing music, I always listened to Marshall Tucker Band. It was something that was there all the time. I mean, you know, all my life I, I heard it. Justin McCorkle plays his own music now. The influences of his father weaved in every song he plays. Toy Caldwell, obviously, uh, was, was one of my big influences. Guitar, uh, singing. My dad, George, of course, was... I mean, he taught me a lot, so you really hear that in my rhythm playing, I know. With their unique blend of rock, jazz, blues, and country, the Marshall Tucker Band created a genre all their own. It was the camaraderie and shared passion for music from the six original members that Riddle credits for their success. One night sticks out in his mind early on in their career after touring for hundreds of shows. Everyone was so tired, and we wanted to go home, really. And uh, we had two shows left, and we were in the dressing room, and Tommy went around the room, and he, he asked George, he said, you, you want to go home? Cancel those last two shows? And, yeah, Tommy, I could go home. I think I could just blow off those last two shows. It was Tommy Caldwell's answer that stuck with Riddle and pushed the band to reach for success. And he wasn't mad. Typical, typical Tommy Caldwell. He wasn't mad. He, wasn't. he said, well... We can go home. We should stay home, too. So we don't deserve this. We should quit right now. He said, you know, everyone out there that came to see us play is there Saturday night. He said, we're going to do everything we ever dreamed of. We're playing our own music, and uh, we don't deserve this. That's what we live by after that. And we did play those last two shows, of course. Everybody was like, put me in, coach. You know, let's, play, let's go play. It's that passion and dedication that will be remembered on stage at the Chapman Cultural Center next week for Where We All Belong, a tribute to the Marshall Tucker Band. The tribute is a true testament not just to an amazing band that paved the way, but to the well of talent in their hometown. Perhaps the band success and, and work uh, has influenced some of that, you know, that at least with young players that they could see that that you could do it, you know, that if you work hard and, and, and keep playing and keep believing and just, you know, get the music out to people that, uh, that it can happen. For your Carolina, I'm Vanessa de la Viña. Great piece. Love that. Yeah. Absolutely love that. And listen to this. You can get tickets to the Where We All Belong Marshall Tucker Band Tribute Concert. That is going on next weekend, April the 2nd, at the Chapman Cultural Center. Go to chapmanculturalcenter.org for tickets. It is going to be an amazing show. And Paul Riddle is one heck of a drummer. Oh, yeah. I do know him. He's great. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, don't move. We still have one year calendar. We'll be right back.